All right, so I just want to get this on the video. Now, I'm sure I'm violating copyright laws, but I mean, I paid $30 for this stupid manual in the long run, and, and, and let's just read this stupid thing, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna sit right here. I mean, place the engine on level ground with its center stand, let the engine idle for three to five minutes. Okay, we're gonna do that. Wait two to three minutes. Clean and insert the oil filter cap dip stack without screwing it in and then remove it and check the oil level. Okay, we're gonna do that. That's going to give us uh, the oil level, but I don't care. I'm just changing the damn oil. That's all I I bought this manual just so it would tell me how to, to change the oil. And then it says the recommended engine oil is the Pro Honda HP4M. Well, you know, I told you I bought... Oh, damn it. Ah. <clears throat> A better oil which is this right here, okay? This is the Motul 4T Scooter Power 10W30 MP. So let, let's get to the page that talks about changing the oil. So it's got this stupid diagram. Now look at this, this is, this is just ridiculous. Who the hell is putting together these manuals? So, so all I wanted to do was determine if I had to drop the bottom plug, which it looks like you need to do. I mean, are you seeing this? It says, drain oil completely. Holy moly, can you imagine that? Would I not change the oil and not drain the oil completely? Who, who the hell writes this stupid shit? So let's, let's get into this. All right, so now it says, fill the crankcase with the recommended engine oil Check the O-ring and the oil filter cap is good condition. Replace if necessary. If the engine oil is changed before the engine oil comes on, be sure to reset the oil. Yeah, reset the oil indicator on the motorcycle. Well, yes, of course we're going to do that. And I'll should, I'm going to teach you how to do that. And it says uh, engine oil capacity 0 0.08 liter after draining, 0.9 set after disassembly. So... The question was, do you just drop the 17 millimeter plug on the left hand side and just drain the oil that way? Or do you drop the engine oil plug underneath and do it that way? So from these stupid directions, I'm guessing that we have to drop the engine oil plug on the bottom and do the engine oil plug on the side and then clean the the oil filter the 17 millimeter uh, plug on the side so that's what we're going to do stay tuned this is an oil change on the atv but don't even bother buying the honda service manual because it's a piece of shit okay let's get going without the garage door but you know it's kind of like you know if the floor is wet and you're going to slip on the damn floor then yeah okay you need a warning sign if you're going to run a motorcycle in your garage guess what you need to open the freaking garage door so there's got to be some common sense in the world you know my wife tells me i am a systemic racist because i'm white you know i i, I I don't get that because in the military, I had black leaders. In the, in the corporations, I had black leaders. Did I ever really object to the fact that I had black leaders? No. There's no systemic racism, people. It's just stupidity. So yeah, let's, let's get back to the motorcycle. I'm sorry to get political on this, but we're going to work on this. And uh, once, it, once it heats up, I'm going to drop that bottom plug and then we'll continue the oil. So I've seen uh, two videos on this 
And, you know, like I said, the directions sucked. Okay, but from what I'm seeing is all we gotta do, let's, let's adjust that camera just a little bit. There we go. All right, I'll get you on there. All we gotta do is drop this plug. And by the way, the plug, it, 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 it unscrewed no problem. I mean, I, all I have is just a regular socket wrench here. And this is a, uh, well, let's see. This is a 12 millimeter. Might, might just take an 11, but who knows. So anyway, I'm just gonna drop this plug. And by the way, it, it, it only took a couple minutes to get this thing really hot. So that's what you want. And I'm just gonna unscrew this screw. I got this pan underneath here. And this should be the oil coming out, I think. Damn it. Come on. Ah, damn it. Ah. Well, I'll tell you, you got that center stand. It's tough. You got to keep this pan right up in there. Boy, that oil is dirty for 600 miles. I'm, I'm definitely impressed that the oil is that dirty. Man, I'm going to have to clean these carpets after this. So putting it on the center stand, it's, it's kind of hard to get the oil into the pan. But you can see how easy that was. And they said, well, one video said just unscrew the, uh, the other plug on the side. And I, 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 that's definitely incorrect. I would, you got to take the bottom plug out and unscrew the oil here. And uh, good, I can leave the pan right there. Let's, let's cut the video off right there. I gotta go wash my hands. I should have been wearing uh, latex gloves. You know, that's one thing when you work with petroleum projects, products, you know, wear latex gloves. Um, so I'm gonna go wash my hands. And uh, we'll let that drain for a while. And, uh, and then we're gonna go take out the oil filter. All right, so we were on the right side of the motorcycle and now we're on the left side now i've seen multiple videos oh let's adjust the camera just a little bit there we go i've seen multiple videos on how to do this now i let it drip for uh, about a half an hour make sure i got all the oil out now on this side you can pop this screw off i just don't see the necessity of it because what I can do is just unscrew this. It's spring-loaded because I've seen it on the videos. Man, I tell you, I'm going to have to use the... It's a 17-inch... Oh, damn it. Come on. All right. And what I'm going to use is the 17 inch to take that off of there. I don't want to waste time on the video. So I'll just get that off and then I'll show you what it looks like. So I want to show you what this looks like. No big deal. All right. So we're taking out the side plug. You got this little bit of oil in there. You got the spring. Oops. And the filter. Okay, so down in the filter here, actually it's very clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean this with some brake fluid cleaner or you could use WD-40 or probably even carburetor cleaner. And uh, well, you can see, I mean, boy, after s this is 700 miles of, of driving. Look how dirty that oil is. I'm impressed. I... I thought when they told me to change the oil at 600 miles, I, 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 was, I just thought that was bull crap. But no, no. Look how dirty that oil is. And, uh, and, you know, we do, I was expecting to see a lot of metal down here. And this is very encouraging. This means this engine is running very clean. And uh, so I should be okay. All right. So we're going to just clean this filter. 
okay? All we do is we put it back in the spring, and then we put the spring back in, you know, and, and that's the beauty of, of, of having a motorcycle like this, is that this is my oil filter. Oh, <laughs> as, I, as I dump it into the dirty oil. All right, so, uh, you know, this, this, this video is kind of coming to an end. We'll put it all back together, and then I'll give you my synopsis, but uh, there's no reason to take the motorcycle into a shop and, and do, do all of this, other than the fact that I dumped oil all over my garage floor because <laughs> I didn't have the pan in the right place. You're gonna have to, if you got the center stand, you really gotta get that oil pan up underneath the, uh, the plug. And by the way, that, there was two videos. Uh, one guy had us just taking the oil out the side here, which I, you know what, in future oil changes, this is probably all you need to do is just unscrew the side plug. But for the, for the initial oil change, to make sure you get all the, the metal shavings out, I would recommend doing the plug on the bottom. And, uh, and like I said, the directions are crap. They don't even tell you to do that. So there you go. There's an oil change on the ADV 150 and, uh, you're good to go. Peace out. So I ain't gonna lie. I mean, getting that plug in on the side, I actually bent the uh, the metal filter. So you're gonna have to be real careful with that. You know, what I suggest is just stuff it down into the cap. And, uh, and that way, um, you know, once you screw it in, you won't, uh, you won't uh, bend that filter. Now I bent it back and so I'm sure it's fine. Um, the other thing is, you know, the plug on the bottom, you got a washer and uh, the washer had fallen down into the oil pan. And uh, of course I just pulled it out of there and just put the washer on the screw. Now, as far as tightening things, uh, you know, I don't have a torque wrench, which I should have, I'm being in the Air Force, but uh, you know, all you're gonna do is just kinda, you know, when you feel it come off, you know, that, the, but that force that it takes to take it off, use the same force to put it back on. And that should give you the torque that you need. Now, as far as the oil goes, it says it takes 0.9 or 0.8 quarts. <laughs> I don't know why they don't do one quart. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the plug in multiple times and just wiping it off and trying to take because you know I, I you know even if you try you're gonna end up putting a damn cord in there which is you know that's just the way it's gonna go and so just pull the pull this thing out about a dozen times and uh, try to get some of the oil off of it so that you haven't overfilled the oil and that's it that's all there is to the oil change on the Honda ADV 150 2021 peace out So I almost forgot the final step here. The indicator is turned on when the running distance reaches the programmed oil change level, which actually was amazing because it did let me know at 600 miles that it needed to be changed. So when the running distance reaches about 100 or 1,000 kilometers, the indicator appears the first time. Okay, that's about 600 miles. The oil change indicator is appeared when the running distance reaches about 6,400 kilometers after the first indication was reset. So here's how you reset it. You press and hold the set button while turning the ignition switch to on and holding the set button until the oil change indicator goes off. When resetting the indicator, during no indication, the indicator will appear for two seconds, then disappear. So let's just do that. So as you can see, I'm at 685 miles and the oil change indicator is on. Okay, so now I'm gonna press the uh, set button and hold it and let's see what happens. So there you go. All I did was I turned the motorcycle off by turning the dial here to off, and then I turned it on, and I held down the set button, which is right here, for three seconds, and the oil indicator is reset, and so we should be good to go for the next oil change. As you can see, I went 85 miles over the oil change limit. Oh boy. Oh, and I forgot one last thing, and if you follow the manual, you don't screw this down in like a car to check the oil. 
you just stick it in pull it out and now can you see that because i can't <laughs> but, but that's how you check the oil you just stick it down in there and you pull it out and uh and that's that's what i'm doing to try to get some of that oil out of there so that i haven't it all overfilled the oil and uh and that, that that's probably good enough you know 0.9 who cares oh there we go 